Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello if you're new. Today I'm sharing with you my November favorites. I usually call this series my beauty obsessions, but I want to make sure my video gets out there to you guys. I feel like because of the title of this video, maybe it doesn't get out there as much. So these are my favorites and I thought it would be fun to start throwing in a couple of non-beauty things. So these are my November favorites. Pretty much the same thing as usual. I can't believe this month is almost gone. This year is almost gone, you guys. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and probably by the time I upload this, it'll Thanksgiving will already happen. So <laughs> happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I hope you all had a really great holiday. I'm pre-recording this, of course. But uh, yeah, let's go and jump to this video. As always, all the products will be linked below in the description box if you want to shop any of my favorites. Without further ado, let's get into my 2019 November favorites. All right, I have one non-beauty favorite and that is this beautiful soap. I actually just picked this up from Meyer uh, this past weekend and the husband actually said uh, we need to get this because we were smelling all the different like holiday scents. He didn't like the pine one or the peppermint one. I actually wanted to get all three but he really liked this one and this is the Mrs. Myers uh, clean day hand soap <laughs> and this is the scent orange clove and this one is limited edition unfortunately I feel like I fall in love with all of the um, holiday scents they come out with every year it just smells so fresh and nice if you guys love the honeysuckle scent which I get that all year round that's that's me and the hubs favorite we use we buy that one all the time I actually get the refill one but this smells so good I'm definitely gonna go back and get a few more they're about $3.99 each I recently switched to the Mrs. Myers hand soap because uh, I don't know I just I really like it the hubs likes it it's really good soap and it smells really good makes your skin really soft so that's one of my non-beauty faves all right moving on I have two skincare favorites kind of skincare well this one is for sure skincare this is by the brand Dermala and these are the patch me if you can I love that uh, targeted pimple patches here's what it looks like and you just pull out the sheet it looks like this you peel off these stickers there's large ones and there's small ones and you just Place it on your pimple overnight and it helps to take care of that pimple and it also helps the spread of bacteria. I love this. I've only used three so far. No, wait, four. No, I've used three so far. I used one last night and I find that these work really good if you wash your skin and put it on right away and then go in with your skincare, it does not budge. <laughs> I love this because you can put it over a spot, not worry about it bursting overnight, and like, I know it's really gross, spreading more bacteria around, so I really, really, really like these. These were in uh, a previous, I forget which box it was, but it was the Vegan Cuts Beauty Box. If you guys haven't seen those videos, check them out. Uh, but yeah, really like this product, and it actually works, and it's been a lifesaver. All right, and the next product is also, I can't help it, you guys. I, I've been testing out so many new things from the Vegan Cuts Beauty Boxes. This has been one of my favorites, actually, for the past couple of months now. And I keep forgetting to mention it. I'm actually almost, I'm almost out. But this is from the brand The Cottage Greenhouse. And it's their Carrot and Neroli Shea Butter, Rich Shea Butter hand cream this stuff is amazing it's in this like kind of metal tin squeezy tube as you can tell mine's almost gone I'm, like, I'm about like halfway done but this stuff smells so good I love the packaging it's actually really cute uh, but it just has a little screw top here and it's just a nice thick cream like it almost smells like fresh laundry like you know when you hang laundry out to dry on a little cottage greenhouse and there's grass and it smells so fresh. Ah, oh, it just smells so good. <laughs> That's a really weird description, oh my goodness. Anyways, this is super great. It's creamy, hydrating. I've been slathering this over, all over my hands before bed. My skin is getting so dry, guys. It's bad. I need some lotion, like, right now. It's really, really bad right now. <laughs> I'm getting, like, the dry, flaky, 
rough just oh it's awful I'm having a really hard time combating that dryness but so far this has been helping a lot it smells amazing it's not greasy but it absorbs really nicely I feel like you can use it during the day or at night but this is just really good and the smell I love the scent of this it's just so fresh and nice and I really like it. It's really good. So I've been pretty much using the same like bronzers and blushes and whatnot. So nothing too exciting there. But I have to get a shout out to these powders, you guys. Oh my goodness. These are all from the Away Studio line. The first one I'm going to mention is the Away Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Porcelain. And I have the little powder puff. By the way, these are amazing. I definitely recommend picking up some of these they're like a dollar something again from shopmistake.com um this color actually matches me really really nicely it's just a nice creamy nude this is pigmented it gives a nice uh little extra boost of coverage if you're looking for that and this just feels like silky smooth butter on the skin it doesn't dry out my skin it's so nice it it blurs the skin it makes it look really beautiful and flawless it helps my foundation last like it's just such a good pressed powder I'm blown away such a good powder love the little powder puffs as well I'll link both of these I'll link everything below of course but the little powder puff comes in handy for like touch-ups and then also the AOA studio perfect setting powder these are the loose ones again they're like a dollar each uh, I have the shades brightening and also soft light and the difference between the two, this one has kind of a peachy pink tint to it. Hopefully you can see in the uh, packaging here, it's a, just a little bit of a nudish pink color. And this one's more of a very pale, pale shade. I would say it doesn't lean yellow. I, it's just a very, very, very pale shade. There is a tint to it, but it's just so barely there. You know what I mean? It's not quite white, but it's not quite nude. <laughs> So I use brightening to set underneath the eyes, but I'll, most of the time lately I've been using just soft light to set underneath my eyes and my whole face because it is light enough. And this just really smooths the skin. I, I really can't swatch it for you, but that's what it looks like. It has a little sifter there. And it just, it's such a good powder. I'm actually wearing it on this side of my face. Uh, today but it's good for underneath the eyes I feel like it's not overly drying to set my concealer it kind of blurs and smooths your skin it's almost like applying a little bit of a filter you know just applying a little a little dust of this sweeping it across the skin it just gives a beautiful finish if you can find a color that works for you I highly recommend it these are amazing they're a dollar each they're all cruelty free they're all vegan all right, let's talk about eyeshadow. I have two eyeshadow palettes that I have been loving and pretty much reaching for the most out of everything. If you guys missed my fall everyday makeup drawer, definitely go check it out if you guys want to see all the fun things, makeup things that I'm using for the fall season. And this was one of my picks. This is the Belle Jordan eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Obsession, and it's from makeup revolution beauty i did a look recently like full face drugstore look and this palette is so pretty very warm earthy tones you've got you know some really deep berry tones in here as well i think this is a really beautiful holiday palette if you like warm tones this is definitely the palette for you beautiful colors in here you got a nice mixture of mattes transition deeper shades it's just a really good palette some of my favorites I've mentioned a million times. I really like uh, Hot Sauce, Pops, Bear, Glow Baby, uh, 1706, Miami. This purple shade's really gorgeous. Been reaching for this one a lot, and it's a good palette. I believe it's still available. It's only like $12 or $15 US. If you can get your hands on it, I think it's a really good drugstore palette. All right, and then my other palette favorite, this one. I can't put down you guys I really 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 love this palette it's from elf cosmetics this has been out for quite a while but I just love this palette it's a perfect everyday go-to wearable kind of like a soft glam palette it's the classics palette the new classics palette from elf cosmetics really love these palettes you guys know how much I love the um, 
The Opposites Attract is also another one of my favorites. But this one has just been a go-to. Really easy, wearable looks that come out of this palette. You know, it's nothing colorful, but you know what? I'm, I mean, I do like color, don't get me wrong, but I also love a good, just basic, everyday eyeshadow palette. There's a nice mixture, again, of mattes here at the top. you got some really nice shimmers. Look at this rose gold. Oh my gosh, look at that. So, I mean, look! So pigmented, right? I mean, that's gorgeous. Easy to use, you know, not too much kick up in the pan. I've done quite a few, like, reviews and whatnot with these palettes, but wow. Such a good palette. I, that rose gold color, let me tell you what, it's really pretty. All right, moving on to my next fave. These lashes are my new obsession. I'm absolutely loving them and I'm wearing them right now. I'll insert a clip of an up close of my eyeballs <laughs> with these lashes on. These are so pretty, you guys. These are, again, from the AUA Studio line. These are the Faux Mink Lashes. If you guys missed my video trying on, well, I didn't try on all the pairs because a lot of them were sold out and out of stock, but I did most of the <laughs> lashes. Did a try on video showing what they look like up close on the eyes. So definitely check out that in-depth review if you want to know more about these. But these are amazing. They're synthetic, so they're cruelty-free and vegan. But these are beautiful. This is in the style Jackie, and I think these are my new favorites. I, I just want 500 pairs because they go with pretty much all eye looks. I'm wearing them today, and they're so pretty. They really kind of lift your eyes, make them look a little bit bigger. They're sort of soft, and they do have that kind of like faux mink effect, like 3D effect. But these are just a little bit softer. They're not as dramatic, but they still give your eyes a little extra something, something. So I only have one lip favorite this month. I've been reaching for this a lot. You guys already know uh, my last favorites video. I mentioned tons of liquid lipsticks. I'm all about the liquid lips right now. But this has been my go-to on days where maybe I'm just, you know, my lips need a break. They're a little dry. You know, they need to just take a little, a little breather. And these, I believe it's called the Tinted Lip Oils. These are from e.l.f. Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Nude Kiss. This has been my go-to lately. It's a really nice nude color, and I'll go ahead and swatch it really quickly. And these are sheer, but they still have a little bit of color. It gives your lips a nice tint. They're hydrating. They're nourishing. I just love this color. It's what's on my lips right now. I went ahead and removed what I was wearing earlier because I wanted to show you how pretty it is. I'm just wearing it on its own, on bare lips. It's so pretty. It, it just gives your lips that glossy, super glossy shine. I just love it. These are really nice. They're nourishing, and again, it's kind of like a lip tint. Now, they are a little bit slippery, so don't put too much on, but these are really great. You guys know how much I love them. I think I have all the shades now. That's my lip favorite. <laughs> Alright guys, last but not least, I had to mention my favorite nail polish of the month, and I do have two of them. I couldn't just pick one. <laughs> so the first one here is what I'm wearing right now. My nails look awful, so I will just insert a photo of what this looks like. But this is so pretty. This is the LA Colors Color Craze Gel Extreme Shine Gel Like Polish in the shade Vampy. I've had this for many years, and it's still a really good vampy burgundy wine color. It's so pretty. These really do look really nice and shiny on the nails and it does kind of give you that gel-like finish. I definitely always apply a top coat. This color is so pretty. I really, really love it. And then my second favorite goes to Orly. I wear this every November because it's called November Fog. <laughs> yes, I'm that person that has to wear something if it has the name of the month in it. I don't know, I'm really weird, <laughs> but I just love this color. It's one of my favorite go-to nudes, if you will. I don't know what my obsession is with these cool toned purple lavender colors with a touch of gray in there, like ever so slightly a little dash of gray. It's so pretty. I don't know what it is, but it looks so good with my like skin tone, and I just love how it looks on my nails. Again, I'll insert a photo, but this is just such a good color. I really like the formula. The bottles are huge. I feel like you get so much product. There's 18 mils. 18 mils of product in here. It's crazy. But I actually really like Orly Polish. I only have a couple of them. I know I keep saying I'm going to try more. Uh, but November Fog is just my favorite and I wore it in the month of November and I'm not ashamed. <laughs> 
Alright you guys, so that is everything. Those are all of my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, all the products that I mentioned today will be linked below. So if you want to shop my favorites, feel free to do so. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more cruelty-free beauty. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more photos updates and if you want to stay connected definitely go follow me my links are always below and here on the screen i hope you guys have a really awesome day i hope you guys had a really great holiday for thanksgiving and that is it i will catch you in the next video remember smarter beauty is better beauty bye guys